here at the NFL Scouting Combine in Indianapolis, this is what you normally get to see. You see this backdrop, you see the people doing interviews, but there is so much more here than what meets the eye. Mike, even in this room, there are cameras everywhere yes. that people normally don't get to see. This is the meeting room. Let's, let's see the cameras. Turn around here. Ashley Farrell going to get a shot of it for you. You see all the bank of cameras focused on one podium. Some big timer must be due in here any moment now. Generally, you have eight to ten different podiums going all at once. And of course, you have the medical part of it too, which is a key part of the scouting combine. That's something we absolutely cannot show you by law. You don't want to see it. You really don't. Mm -mm. You really don't. But then, you do like to watch all the on-field stuff. And the other part of the combine, which is really important, are the 60, 15-minute interviews that the teams do at night with the different players. So here's what I propose. Okay. I propose that we take people to the hotel room where the Titans do their interviews, and we like show that. them that. Yeah. But first, let's go to the suite at Lucas Oil Stadium and watch where John Robinson and Mike Malarkey watch the 40-yard dash, all the drills. You want to do it? I think that's great. Let's go right now. All right, let's go. Cool. Mike, we're here at the suite at Lucas Oil Stadium where the scouts and the coaches are watching the guys on the field doing their workouts, the workouts that everyone associates with the Combine. What's so special about this room and this vantage point? You take St. Thomas Sports Park and John Robinson's office and the rest of the personnel people and the coach's office and you've just moved it to Indianapolis. This is just a basic suite at Lucas Oil Stadium that's very nice. It's the suite that the Titans have every year. They're going to sit and watch the workouts on the field. They want to watch what he's doing, running and all of the, the drills and things, but they really want to watch what he does in between. They want to see how he carries himself. Those are things that they're going to be watching. How big of a part is that to this puzzle, putting together who a guy really is? They look at everything. I, I mean, you've got all of the medical testing, all of the psychological testing, all of the physical testing all of the activities that go on with the interviews, things of that sort, but they are looking for any sort of tell on a player that they can get. And this is a good vantage point to take in everything that's happening on that Well, field. John Robinson is very happy with the, the vantage point of the sweep. Can we go sit in these seats out here? Let's go. Can we do that? People always ask, why Indianapolis? And it's really because of the intricate tunnels, but walkways and things that they have inside that get from the various hotels to Lucas Oil Stadium. It's all interconnected and it's very easy to maneuver. As a matter of fact, the hotel where the interviews are done is immediately connected from here. Do you think we ought to show them that? Oh, we definitely should. So let's right. go right now. Let's go. We're standing in the Tennessee Titans interview room right now. And it's a hotel room. It's a hotel room. Yeah, That's we want to show it to you to give you a little bit of an idea. Each team can do 60 total 15-minute interviews. Think speed dating because they'll be outside and everybody will be in the lobby waiting and then a horn will blow and all 32 teams will run to their respective hotel room, most of which they've had the same hotel room for years and they set up their rooms totally different. And Everybody sort of fixes their rooms. If you look up here, you get a chance to see the Titans pictures they put up on the wall. And as we move over here, you can see that they've, they've already got the drawers stocked, ready to hand out hats and such. Now, who's gonna be in these chairs? Well, John Robinson and Mike Malarkey, general manager and head coach. Of course. Obvious. Right. Ryan Cowden and Blake Bettingfield, uh, director of player personnel and director of college scouting. Okay, in the front, the area scout who has scouted the player is generally going to be the one conducting a good bit of the interview. If it's an offensive lineman, obviously you're going to have Russ Grimm and Mike Sullivan in here. And the offensive coordinator, Terry Robisky, would also be in here if it's an offensive player. Dick LeBeau if it's a defensive player. They're in here from 7 until almost midnight for four nights. And so you, you got to have snacks, right? You got to have snacks. So it's, it's already set up with snacks. You can see the big thing is the seat. Amy goes into the hot seat. All right. We're going to talk about, you know, football things. We're going to talk about off the field things if that comes up. This is a small room. This is a narrow space. 
you're very close to me right I'm now, in. which is fine. I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> but I'm, it's very close quarters in here. That has to be a tremendous amount of pressure for any player who's coming in here talking to basically a prospective employer. It's a job interview. Mm -hmm. It's a job interview, and you want them to feel the pressure. This is about taking the process a step further and seeing how badly somebody wants this job. It's a grind for the people on this end of it, but they know they've got to be as good as they can to get as much out of that player who's trying to be as good as they can.